In northern Nigeria, our voices unite. A TED talk of change in the warmest light. God, that today will make us time to reshape the narrative across our land. Northern Nigeria, a treasure so vast. Richness flows like a river so fast. Not in poverty's way, but in wealth we reside. In the heart of abundance, our spirits glide. In the peaceful embrace of the morning's grace, we'll find solace, not violence in fierce face. Harmony prevails in our hearts hearts we confide in the cradle of peace our dreams coincide education is the path we tirelessly tread not in ignorance but with knowledge we are led in wisdom we grow our aspirations magnified northern nigeria where intellect drives philanthropy blooms hearts open wide not as big as but give us with pride in unity's down side by side we strive northern nigeria where love is our guide Religious tolerance, our steadfast creed, not extremism, but unity we need. In diversity's tapestry, our peace coincide. Northern Nigeria, with hearts open wide. Amidst fertile fields, thoughts, bounty untold, not hunger's grave, but nourishment's gold. In the land of plenty, our needs are supplied. Northern Nigeria, where hunger subsides. So let the world hear our stories unfold of Northern Nigeria, where legends are told. With unity we stand as our hopes collide to change the narrative with hearts full of pride. In richness and peace in knowledge we confide as philanthropies in unity we buy with religious tolerance fought far and wide. Northern Nigeria our strength and our guide. I'm using this platform to send a massive shout out to Team TEDx Bauchi 2023. Your dedication, hard work, and commitment to transforming perceptions about Northern Nigeria are truly commendable. The event you organized was nothing short of inspiring, and it's evident that your passion for it is success. Congratulations to the Kiweo, Mr. Ahmed Yusuf, who through his undying passion to see growth and development in Bauchi has worked around the clock to make TEDx Bauchi 2023 a reality. I also appreciate the incredible speakers who graced the TEDx World 2023 stage. Your talks were enlightening and thought-provoking and left an indelible mark on me. You shared stories of resilience, innovation, and the positive narrative that define Northern Nigeria. Thank you for being the driving force behind this event and for inspiring me. I was deeply moved by the passion and authenticity of the speakers. Each talk was powerful and inspiring from Dr. Saeed Tafida's talk on the need for unity and working together for a sustainable Nigeria to Aisha Gombe who asked a thoughtful working question. In whose cloud are you a rainbow and in whose journey are you that fortified pillar? Then Jamila Idris changed the public perception of success being lonely at the top. Turns out success isn't lonely at the top after all. You guys need to erase what Ashake said in that song from your mind. <laughs> Umi Salman, the brilliant spoken word addings highlighted how the TEDx Bauchi event is a ground for shaping destinies and getting inspiration. It is. The highlight of it all for me was when King Bauer spoke about stereotypes and redefined the nod to the stage performance of his amazing song, I Am Not. Listen, I am not who they say I am. I am not what you see on TV. It's obvious that I am. I am not what your granddaddy told you about me. I am more. I am more than a vast land of livestock and herds, man. I am more. I am more than the people who don't like pork and sex. Listen, I am not Western. I am culture. I am not oil. I am agriculture. I am not the beggars you see on the streets. Believe me or not, I am not a terrorist. I, I am not hunger nor starvation. I am the food basket of a nation. I am not illiterate. Now how can that be when I am the center of education? See, I see green anywhere. I am a savannah. I am not a desert. I am not abandoned. I am not the Sahara. I am a break from the urban lifestyle and the horror side. And to be right to say we not only farmers. And I'll be lying if I say I'm not holy garments. I am hospitality. We know farmers. They say numbers don't lie for sure. We got the numbers. See, I am not just your gate man. I am not just your above key for good to change man. I am not poor. I am the richest black man on the planet next to Bill Gates, man. I, I am, am not just one religion. religion. I, I am, am not just a politician. I need my religion. I've got the power and it's evident. It's why I'm not giving up until I am president. I'm so sick and tired of the stereotypes. I am not. 
Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. I was also inspired by Mrs. Virginia Abu, who emphasized the need to not allow the obstacles that brought other people down to bring us down. According to Mrs. Virginia, success is not just the luxury items you have, it is the people that you have, the people whose notes you are on nothing, the people whose narrative you are changing. Dr. Ahmed Issa also pointed out that if your life is useful to you alone, it means your life is useless. He emphasized the need to not allow the West to tell us what human right is. The human right has to do with your culture, your religion, and everything that comes as your natural right. We had an incredible performance by Bolchi's finest artist, B.O.C. It was a thrilling moment for all. The North is truly talented. I love Engineer Dauda Ayuba Katagum's youth centeredness. He sees Nigerian youth as assets, not problems. He also encourages us the youth to never give up despite the many challenges. At the end of the day, I felt that Aisha Balawunti should not have only given the closing remark because what she said in that closing remark was a powerful TED speech. She should have been a speaker too. Her eloquence, charisma, confidence, and courage was second to none. I still hold on to a very important statement she made. Identify a problem in your society and try to solve that problem. Guys, I hope through this video I've been able to change your mind on so many wrong perceptions about the North. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Bye.